Hi guys, it's Miriam. And it's me, RD. So we have news for you before news. the year ends. Yeah, I mean, it's all the bad news that marked 2020. Grab it on 2020. We want to end this with a high note and a happy note. Mm -hmm. So thank God, because si God, meron silang, meron siyang naging surprise mm -hmm. for us before Christmas, actually. Mm -hmm. And we now so excited to share with you the great news that we are. I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> Positively pregnant! Yay! Yeah, no. so, and the baby. Yeah, so today as of this recording, mm. um, I am eight weeks and six days pregnant. Yeah. We don't know if it's uh, a girl or boy yet, we'll know by next week. Next week when I get my prenatal testing. Yeah. So we found out two weeks ago and mm -hmm. uh, we weren't really We weren't expecting. expecting. Well, we were praying. We were mm -hmm. praying for it. Praying and planning. Pa lang. Uh -huh. Planning stage na um, should we already get worked up? Sabi natin, oh, magpa-consult na tayo ulit kay Dr. Ano, Dr. Singson. Mm. Para kung may mga tasks na kailangan gawin, <laughs> magawa na, ganyan. Hmm. Tapos nagulat na lang ako kasi November, nag-skip ako ng period. Hmm. So I was counting the days, sabi ko, ang tagal na. Tapos yung mga symptoms ko before, when I was first pregnant with Elijah, like tenderness of the breast, hindi mm -hmm. ko nararamdaman. Pero hmm. ang napapansin ko, para akong laging hapong-hapo, parang lagi akong pagod, feeling ko tamad ako, parang gusto ko lang matulog. Hmm. Yan ang naramdaman ko nun eh. Yeah. Yes, hindi naman ako nasusuka. By God's grace, kahit kay Elijah, hindi ko naramdaman yung pasusokan na yun. So, walang indication except for the missed period. Actually, I asked you to take a um, pregnancy test. So, I, you asked me to buy a pregnancy test, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung may, may, may two lines. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos, yung isang line malabo. So, sabi mo, uh -huh. hey, hindi. Ay, you showed it to me. I said, I'm not pregnant. But I said, oh, parang ano, may line. Pero 1. parang, 25. siguro parang quarter. <laughs> so, you're 1.25. <laughs> pregnant. Pregnant. Sabi ko lang 1.25. It's either I'm pregnant or not. So, buti so, na lang. Meron akong pregnancy test from the time that I was waiting to get pregnant with Elijah. Hmm. Kaya, I checked myself. The digital thing test. You'll see it on the screen. Show. Pa Yon. Pregnant. So, eto yon. We found out on uh, what day was that? Was that some? I don't know. So yeah. So nung nag digital test ako, sa ako na laman. So pinakita ko kay RD, and we were so happy. Um, it was really so, a surprise, a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. So we just want to encourage everybody who's. Um, down and out or just low on hope this mm -hmm. 2020 not to give up on hope mm -hmm. and whatever your dreams and whatever you're praying for there's nothing really impossible with God sabi ni God is there anything too difficult for me mm -hmm. diba ikaw anong natutunan mo what do you realize I realize um, that God does not forget his promises kasi parang sometime in the middle of this year or the or mm -hmm mga second quarter of this year, parang na-sense ko si God, sinabi ako na magbubuntis ako ng November. Parang ganun. Talaga? Parang may na-sense ako. Hal halos hindi ko nga sineseryoso kasi parang parang dumaan lang sa isip ko. Pero, I really just, um, I'm reminded of the story of Sarah and Abraham. Mm -hmm. ba nung, nung sinabi din ni God na magbubuntis si Sarah, this time next year. Hmm. So parang yung promise ni God na hindi niya hindi siya nakakalimot dun sa sinasabi niya. And so when I I remember hindi naman tinawanan si God. Hindi naman. <laughs> but I remembered when I remembered nga that somehow parang dumapoy sa isip ko na by November I'll be pregnant this year. Hmm. Parang grabe oh no? si God talaga you know when he remembers, he reminds you, he warns you. He prepares you and He remembers His promises. So, yun, relate na relate yeah. talaga ako kay Sarah. Tsaka ako, I realized God will do this not because, you know, if sometimes you feel like 
spoiled na spoiled tayo kay God. Mm -mm. Another miracle ito, di ba? Oh. Imagine 45 years old na ako. Ana 1 to 2% chances again of getting yeah. pregnant. Tapos ito wala pang mga workups, spontaneous yeah. pregnancy siya. Pero ano, yung word niya kasi in Proverbs 19:21 it says, "Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's the God's purpose that prevails." So mm -hmm. I think all of this naman is for God's purpose, mm -hmm. for his glory so that people will be encouraged, inspired and to mm -hmm. trust in him talaga. So, yun. I mean, may this inspire and encourage you all to really trust in the Lord with all your heart. Buong buong puso. And lean not on your own understanding. Diba sa amin? Mm -hmm. In all your ways, just acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. Straight. Dere mm -hmm. Galing ni Lord. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I announced this pregnancy with my friends with my Bible study, we were going through this verse, uh, this study on, um, so Psalm 31 verse 14 says, But I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. So in this season, um, this really encouraged me, er, encourages me to put my trust in God. After all, He is my God. He sees me. He knows my situation. Um, he is my personal God. Um, verse 15, my times are in your hands. So I find comfort in this that uh, whatever happens, God knows uh, the beginning from the end. Um, he has appointed um, my time on this earth and also the time of my baby. So he has planned this. From the very beginning, he has planned this, that I will get pregnant again. Um, I'm just asking him to deliver me from the hand of my enemy. In this case, this APA situation and this hemorrhage situation, diba? Um, I ask him in verse 16, Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. And let me not be put to shame, for I have cried out to you. So, I'm really putting my trust in God because I know and I have seen from the past, I remember the times when I was down and out and yet He saved me. I had nothing and yet He provided for me. I was sick and yet He healed me. And so, I'm putting my trust and confidence in Him again to heal me once again uh, from, from this apas and to sustain me again all throughout this pregnancy as He has done before in my first one. Have it, guys. That's our pasabog for the new year. <laughs> we hope Merry you're Christmas! Inspired. It's a great way to end the year. God giving us a Christmas gift and then a great way to start 2021 with this good news. So, sana may inspire kayo. If you have prayer requests, just you know, put it in the comment box and let us know how we can pray for you. At the same time, subscribe naring kayo. Sa YouTube channel ni Miriam. And also uh, tap the notification bell if you want to hear from us every time uh, we post uh, new videos. So, <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. God bless you all.